Let the Lord lead the way, and you will never stray. He will direct you, and He will protect you. Let the Lord lead the way. Let the Lord lead the way, and you will never stray. He will direct you, He will protect you. Pastor Brad Winnegar. This is From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And this little chorus, which I've repeated several times, goes way back. In fact, uh, we used to write music for a number of different activities. And one of those activities uh, is our annual Vacation Bible School. We have a platform Bible school. We use songs and, uh, and visuals and uh, 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 emphasize truth through... Uh, uh, clear illustrations, speaking, preaching. And this is one of the songs from uh, one of our vacation Bible schools a long time ago. I've upgraded it just a little bit, did it, uh, arranged it in a couple of keys. But let the Lord lead the way. And today we're looking in Psalm 5 and verse number 8. There are so many verses in the Word of God about letting the Lord lead. Uh, rather than our trying to take charge and ending up in the ditch. Here's what it says in Psalm 5, 8. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. We have, of course, shooting at us all the time, the enemies of the truth. The world, the flesh, and the devil are set against us. And if we come against them in our own flesh, we will lose. We will end up... Uh, in a, in a terrible, terrible um, uh, mode of defeat and despair if that is our course of action. Instead, we've got to look to the Lord. Let Him, through the Word of God, guide us and direct us and lead us into all truth. And then obediently step out, depending upon Him, for that uh, uh, supply of strength, that uh, grace that He will give us in order to be victorious in and through Jesus Christ. That's the recipe, and I trust that you'll uh, follow that recipe today in your life. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you that you lead the way, you supply the strength, you give us the wherewithal to be victorious. I pray for each and every one just now. With heads bowed and eyes closed, if you're not sure that you're saved, then right now would be the time to call on the name of the Lord. I think back to many vacation Bible school times when so many Boys and girls simply received Christ, and that's what it's going to take right now. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Just pray something from your heart. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me. Right now I receive Him into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. Did you pray that prayer? I trust that you did. We'd like to be a help to you today. So let us know that you've been saved and let's trust the Lord for all of our ways and all of our decisions, choices, and uh, venues of life. Father, I pray now that you'll help people as they're facing decisions, choices, as 
uh, they live each day, Lord, help them to let you lead them through the Word by the Spirit, uh, strengthening us to be victorious, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, let's sing it. Let the Lord lead the way and you He will protect you. Let the Lord lead the way. God bless you today as you let Him lead. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.